Good morning. It is a snowy paradise out here. Apparently, we are getting more, but I don't know. I'm kind of underwhelmed. They canceled school, so our uh, little neighbor girl is here playing outside, but I am just trying to get the chicks and ducks comfortable. The ducks love this kind of weather. The chickens are the ones that aren't loving it. So I'm gonna do a little snow day in the life and see where this takes us. I am not going to jinx this, but uh, my plan is to continue to uh, film our daily life and upload it. So I'm not even gonna say the word, but I'm I'm just hoping to have more consistency daily on this channel. So we shall see where that takes us. We're putting in oyster shells. I had questions in the last video, just so we can harden up the chicks shells. The problem is they get their calcium, but I definitely need just a little bit more. I don't know if it's because I have like a mixed flock of different fowl but yes that is the goal today just to stay cozy take you along our day and yeah see where this snowstorm takes us so cheers to you thanks for being here the ducks like when there's water in there so we're just gonna leave a little bit to put this up. I had to put this on the bottom yesterday because Rebo is just flying on out of the coop. She's done that since she was a baby. She just goes with the wind. She does whatever she wants. So she was flying out. I had to combat that. But ow. Morning. Come on out. Will they like it? What are we thinking? I'm going to put this back because the wind is pretty intense right now. Is anybody laying in here? I put some extra straw in last night, but... Oh, we got an egg. Thank you. Morning, Dixie. Egg. Thank you. Lavender, come on. Kids are screaming. Here we go. What do you think, Daisy? Ducks love it. Yeah. Yep, yep. I have some warm rice in that feed, too. So hopefully we'll be okay for the day. Oh, let me know if it's snowing near you. Some of you live in like Florida, so I don't even want to hear it. I love the snow, but the wind with the snow is what gets me. And I think we'll take the kids up to Lavender, the mountains here soon, just to get a few runs in uh, snowboard wise before everything warms up. Beautiful. Now if it would just stop being so blustery. Let's check on the kids. Totally not a millennial mom. And St. Cass got the blow. Yeah. I know. I know. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. We'll get a hat. We'll get a hat. One, two, three. Yay, hats. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Here's my mom advice for the day. Just psych everything up and make it sound really exciting. And then they won't get upset about wearing a hat. Right? Mwah. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? 
She's the cutest little puffball I've ever seen. Huh. Huh. I know. She doesn't like the hat, but that's okay. Let's go see what it's all about out there. Ready? Mommy wear a hat too. What do you think? <laughs> oh, here we go. Here she goes. <gasps> wow. What do you think? She is liking that snow. What's going on? It's pretty slushy. It's not cold enough to freeze, so. Yeah. I think we'll go inside and do some inside things. Maybe some crafts. Anybody want to do crafts with Mama? Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, Delilah's down there. Yeah, because I want to play out here. Why wants to play? Yep, we know. But we're going to go get the crafts set up. Millie, what do you think? I'm going to get yeah. the crafts set up. Okay, this is what we came up with. We have these uh, egg cartons from my husband's work. They give us egg cartons, which is helpful for when we sell eggs in the summer. But we are using them to divide colors of washable paint. You could do acrylic, but I suggest doing washable depending on the ages of your children. And then I cut up a potato. This is a great stamping, uh, I guess, mechanism, but you can work up to different things. So you can use any type of vegetable that is pretty hard. Uh, it depends, you know, what you have on hand. So you just cut different shapes with this. You could get real crafty if you want and make little carvings if you wanted. And then for easy cleanup, we're just using Q-tips, but paintbrushes, of course, work well. You're going to use some sort of paper that can withstand <laughs> paint. So this is watercolor paper, but it's not like that durable. So I just wouldn't suggest using computer paper, but it, it works if you want it to. <laughs> so the kids use the Q-tips as paintbrushes, and then they stamp and make a design so super fun very easy snow day craft and then a little hack for you my paint uh, was running out so I added a little water little cornstarch to the bottle and shook it up and it just added more paint to it you could also make your own paint but that uh, it takes a bit I can drop a recipe for you in the description box it's uh, easy but not as pigmented as you would like it to be so the kids are gonna enjoy this I'm going to get Millie down for a nap and do some cleaning all right I just got done uh, cleaning up and posting some social media things. I, uh, you know, I have two accounts and each account has an Instagram account, a Facebook account, and a YouTube account. So if you follow me on all of that, thank you. But um, secondly, it, it takes a lot. So it's nice to have pre-made content to just let it go live. So I try and do that and then I try and engage and you know, uh, respond to comments and stuff afterwards, but it, it takes a lot out of you if you're ever thinking about doing this. So I'm doing some carrot celery and some blue cheese. I just needed a quick little snack and I don't know, I was feeling this. So I'm going to have that, some lemon water. And then I think one of the girls is stirring here. That was a very short nap, but that's okay. That just means we get to spend more time together. So I'm going to snack on this and see if she settles. But if not, I'm going to grab her and then we are going to move on with the rest of our day. I think I'm going to do shrimp tacos for dinner. So I'm going to show you how to make that. You want this carrot? Yummy. Mm. Okay, husband is awake, so I'm gonna make him a little uh, tuna melt with bacon. I know random, I was gonna do a salmon BLT, but the salmon's just not thawed out yet. So we have tuna here, it's just basic mayo, Worcestershire, lemon, uh, mustard, and then salt and pepper. I'm just using this type of bread, a little bit of cheese and some bacon, and then I'm melting it in the pan with some butter, and that's it. So I'm gonna snack on this just as is and share the rest with him. But wanted to give you a lunch update because it's it's I don't know, it might be my favorite meal of the day. I'm not sure though. I like to get creative. Here. You want some tuna? Mom, do you hear this sound? I do. Tuna. One, two, three. Yay, tuna! Do you like tuna? Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yummy. Mm -hmm. More? More? No, sit down. 
More, more. Sit down. Can you sit down? We don't stand and eat. Both girls are here. The tortillas are done. I just wanted to make some thick tortillas for those tacos uh, just before all the hustle and bustle. You never know. It doesn't take that long, but I am going to sip on some tea. I like the Tazo organic peachy green tea. It does have a little bit of caffeine in there, but it's super yummy. It's just a nice little afternoon pick-me-up when it's snowing. I'm going to get some of the dishes done. As you can see, someone dumped coffee in there. And then we are going to make some C-O-O-K-I-E-S's. This has turned into an all-day cook with me. First things first, I really need to get the floors done. So I'm going to vacuum quick and then I'll meet up with you in a second. <laughs> 